Nebraska family leans on the community as they deal with an unimaginable loss. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Three members of the Lauber family were on the way home from Texas when their small plane went down. Troopers say it crashed in Grant County, 80 miles northwest of Oklahoma City. William and Christine Lauber and their 21-year-old daughter Regan were killed. KETV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson spoke with one of Lauber's daughters about the tragedy. She reports from Milford tonight. A funeral home sits on a corner in Milford, one where William Lauber provided so many families with comfort for so many years. He wanted to make sure everybody's story was told, their life story. Now Whitney Chrisman is the one telling her family story to honor them. She says death was something often talked about in her family because of her dad's profession. He always told me, Whitney, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And that's how he viewed death. That's what Chrisman believes he would be saying to her now. She says in the last five years, her dad got back into flying. It was something he loved, but something that scared her. It was my worst nightmare. On Thursday, that nightmare became a devastating reality when her husband gave her the news. He just said, come here. And I just took one look at his face and I knew. I knew what had happened. Um, he didn't even have to tell me. Her dad, William Lauber, who loved people, her mom, Christine, who she calls beautiful, and her sister, Reagan, who was set to graduate from UNL in May, were killed after their plane crashed in Oklahoma. The family was on their way home from visiting another sister in Texas. I love them, and I'm going to miss everything, um, the, the opportunities and the holidays and watching my children go grow. I'm going to miss them and that them being involved. Now what gives her peace is remembering what her dad taught her about death and that she'll be okay. It's been a roller coaster, but I just have faith that they're in a better place. The family tells me they are still working on making those funeral arrangements. We will have that updated on our website as we get more information. Reporting in Milford, Abby Peterson, KETV, Newswatch 7.